Hi and welcome to week 9 of US history. So this week we are going to talk about a significant period in American history. Uh, we're going to take a look at five objectives and they shaped the content of this of those objectives is to understand how the nation was shaped during the 19th century. We will begin with the causes and outcome of the Mexican-American War. Uh, if you could just excuse me for one second. Okay. So, the Mexican-American War fought between 1846 and 1848 was a pivotal moment in American history. It had several causes, including a territorial dispute over Texas, which had declared independence from Mexico in 1836 and was annexed by the U.S. in 1845. This move exacerbated the tensions between the two nations. The war ended with the signing of the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo in 1848. The United States gained vast territories, including California, Arizona, and New Mexico, fundamentally reshaping the nation's boundaries. However, it also raised questions about the extension of slavery into, into these new territories and strained relations between the North and the South. In 1848, gold was discovered in California, leading to the famous California Gold Rush. The lure of instant wealth drew people from across the United States and around the world to the region. The gold rush had profound effects, both immediate and long-term. It spurred California's rapid population growth, contributing to its statehood in 1850. The influx of people also led to the growth of infrastructure and industries. However, it had a detrimental consequence for Native American populations, and the environmental impact was significant due to rampant mining. So again, during the 19th century, a religious revival known as the Second Great Awakening swept across the United States. It emphasized indiv individual salvation and personal piety. The movement had profound social and political effects. It inspired various reform movements such as abolitionism and women's suffrage. It also led to the emergence of new religious denominations and a shift to a more democratic form of religion. It had a lasting impact on American society, contributing to the moral and social reforms of the era. Uh, the 19th century also witnessed the emergence of two distinctive intellectual and social movements, utopianism and transcendentalism. Utopian communities, such as the Juanita community and Brook Farm, aimed to create ideal societies, often emphasizing communal living and shared labor. While most of these experiments were short-lived, they reflected a desire for societal change. Transcendentalism, led by thinkers like Ralph Waldo Emerson and Henry David Thoreau, stressed individual intuition, nature, and self-reliance. Their writings had a profound influence on American literature and philosophy and contributed to a cultural movement that questioned established norms and values. Um, also during the 19th century, the public school movement emerged as a response to the growing need for education in a rapidly industrializing and urbanizing society. Its goals were to provide free and compulsory education to all children, regardless of their social or economic background. So. Uh, we will get into more details this week during class. We will take them and dissect each lesson. And I look forward to seeing you all and working with you. Thank you.